So here's how you can start using Google surveys in just five minutes. So let's jump into it. The first thing you're gonna to need to do is go to google.com slash surveys and you will see this page here. All you're gonna to wanna to do is click on get started. You're gonna go straight to this page where you're gonna be able to create your question. So first thing you're gonna to need to title your question. So we're gonna call this snooze. And then you're gonna see a few things. So first you're gonna see the number one, which means this is the first question. You're gonna see a plus. This is where you add additional questions. And then you're gonna see the question itself that you have below. The first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is choose the type of question that you wanna use. Here you go to the little pencil and you've got a long list of questions that you can use on the left hand side here. The options are a single answer, two choices with an image. So this one, it shows an image and then this, the respondent's gonna choose two different potential responses to it. Multiple answers. So here the respondent will be able to choose many different answers rather than either or. Multiple answers with an image, a rating scale, a rating scale with text, rating scale with image, and then an open-ended question. So open-ended question is where you don't choose the answers and you leave it open for the respondent to write in whatever they want. Then again, uh, open-ended with an image, side-by-side -side images so that people can have a look at which they potentially prefer, a menu with an image. So this one, you've got an image and then you can choose from a menu, an image choice where you can roll over and use the image to answer the question or a video where you have to watch the video before you can actually answer the questions. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna start with the simple one as a single answer and we're back to the question. The first thing you wanna do is type in your question. So we're gonna say, how many times do you press snooze on average? And you can see it appearing on the right hand side and then you have to simply type in the answers. So for us, it's going to be once, twice, three or more times, and then I never press snooze. If you want to emphasize something in the question, you can simply put some asterisks around it to make it bold. Then if you scroll down, you're gonna to wanna to choose your answer order. So you have three options here. So first you've got randomized answer order, which will mix up the order in which the answers appear. You've got randomly reverse answer order, and then you've got display answers in this order. So for our question, it makes sense for the answers to appear in a specific order, but it doesn't matter if they go front to back or back to front. So what we'll do to make sure we remove any bias that comes from the order in which the respondents see the questions, we're gonna say re randomly reverse answer order. There is also the option to screen with this question. So this would be the first question someone sees before deciding whether they go on to answer more questions and also include an open end text field. But for us, we don't want to do that. If you did, this is what it would look like. So to see other appear. Then if you want to preview the question, you can go over here, hit preview and desktop. And you can see exactly how the question will appear to respondents. If we then go back to our question, what you can do if you want to add more questions is hit the plus and again, choose which question you want to add. Or if you're done and just wanna use the one question, scroll down and hit continue. Next, we wanna choose who we wanna sample. And the first thing we can do here is choose the country. So you will see the long list of countries that you can choose from, but we're gonna stick with the US. And then with a lot of the bigger countries on this list, you can drill down even further. So for us, we're actually gonna choose a state and we're gonna choose Nevada and we're gonna choose our age demographic. And then if you want to, you can also choose the gender. Once you've chosen that, you're gonna hit confirm. And here it's over to you to choose the sample. So while their recommendation is 1,500 for most research, for a lot of the use cases that most businesses will be using this for, you can go with a much smaller sample size. So if we said we wanted to only go with 100, we can see that the cost of just getting 100 respondents is only $15. You could even knock it down a bit to 75 and it automatically calculates how much that's gonna cost you to get responses from all of those respondents. You can then choose how often you want it to run. So for us, we're only gonna run it once. And then when you're ready to go, hit start survey and it's gonna ask you for your bank details. Once you pay for that, it will then go to Google to be approved. And then once it's approved, you will see in the dashboard all your live surveys. And you'll hear, see here at the top, so Snooze is now collecting responses. We've got three responses in. And then once the results come in, we'll choose one of my old ones here, so about odd socks. You'll go in, it will say complete, and then you can scroll down 
and you can see the breakdown of your responses. So this was question to a question, roughly, how many odd socks do you think that you have in your sock drawer? It will then allow you to break down the data yourself based on various demographics. So you can see here, if we look at males, it alters the, the percentages. So that's that. That's how to use Google surveys. Go give it a go. It's one of the most underutilized tool in business. And you can try it out for as little as $10. And if you like this video, please give us a thumbs up. Cheers.